Hello, welcome to our GFU Global Evolution Women Awards 2024. I'm so delighted that I get to introduce to you one of our amazing nominees, Tineke Rensen from Netherlands, who is a nominee in our category, the newly opened category for this year, which is health and well-being. Tineke is um, a water healing expert and a healer, and what a delight to have her here in our conversations together. So Tineke, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for accepting my invitation to have this live stream. And how are you today? I'm I'm excited, Bea. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to reconnect with you. And uh, I'm excited about what the call is going to bring forward for, for anybody. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited as well because I know you just launched an amazing endeavor, which I think is so inspiring and so I think attractive and important for many of us around the world so I'm really curious for you to share more about that but before we go into depth or about your evolution journey and your love for water to be disclosed later just have a question I wanted to ask you that I always yearn to ask and that is when you learned that you were nominated for our GFI awards what was that like for you what did you feel <laughs> Okay, the first the first response you might not want to hear that yes. it's like, oh no, that's a lot of work. I don't have time for it now. Um, uh, but, but on the other hand, I was like, well done, Tineke. This is the best creation you could have made. You just launched your new business, and now there's there's going to be all this exposure and 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 all these people and and i can talk about my passion so yeah it it i told someone it's aligned timing but they said no 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 it's perfect timing because you deliberately created it so yeah i'm happy i'm really happy to be here and i'm happy to be nominated i'm honored i'm i am really honored yeah 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 and i love it that you are our nominee in the in the category of health and well-being you know you and mm. I we've known each other yeah. for a while and uh, you've been running your business and you've been entrepreneur how long how long have you been uh, 35 years 35 yes, years and, right? and, I've, and I've been teaching people hardcore business writing hardcore business books <laughs> <laughs> yep but, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just before the call we were talking about covid and uh, that that really was the turn but turning point for me after covid my businesses didn't pick up anymore and i was i didn't have at the time the flexibility in my mind to gather everything up and and go again like i have been doing so many times because when you're in business that's that's the ebb and flow of a business you pivot you pivot you and, keep pivoting, and, right? and i just i did, just didn't want to anymore and there has been a painful process uh, letting go of everything i thought i was and everything i thought uh, how my businesses were supposed to be and and how i was supposed to be in the world and who i am and um it yeah i had to let go of many things <laughs> yeah a lot well, of beliefs uh, yeah but I'm, I'm I'm happy too because it brought me to where I am now and there's a lot more to come. Yeah, I mean, when you share with me about your new endeavor, I'm like, that totally makes sense. Yeah, like, it does. Right? It, like, it made so much sense. And even the timing that you share for everyone, you know, that's listening to us, I think that happened to many of us during the COVID because that's also when the COVID started in 2020 it was the year of the metal, right? And, and I think the COVID created a lot of pivot moments, especially for women, men as well, mm. when we really mm. were really confronted to really look what we value, what we don't value anymore, what's precious, what's not so precious. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think for you, it was time. So <laughs> it's yeah. great that you listen to your voice because you have so much gift to give to the world. And now with what you're doing with your, you know, passion for water and everything that you share also later on in our conversation, you can like completely deploy all your, you know, business skills yeah. by you focusing them now on the area that you're so excited about and that's so valuable. And for me, that's magical. So can you just share with us more about your passion and purpose and what you are now bringing to the world? 
I really would like to um, share with people and, and create awareness amongst people how water is the liquid gold and not because you we need it to water our plants and crops and because we need it to drink. But water has a consciousness. Water resonates with us. It talks to us. Uh, it vibrates. Uh, and, and it's when people go and you, you'll never be able to have a, a normal shower anymore after I tell you this. Okay. But okay. I'm ready. If, if, I'm ready. If, <laughs> no, people are telling me this. I said, oh, I had it today on LinkedIn. And she's... When we we most people love to have a shower, uh, and and they say I feel so fresh, I feel so energized. And, and people who love to be clean, they think it's because they feel clean, but that's a thought, you know. It's but the feeling energized is a feeling, and that is what the water of the shower does. The water of the shower doesn't carry your vibration. It doesn't carry your energy. It doesn't carry your thoughts, your emotions. It's neutral. I mean, it carries stuff from the pipes and, 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 and the collective thoughts and energy of the whole world, but, but not your stuff. So every morning or every time when you have a shower, the water molecules in your body they resonate with the water molecules of the shower. And that's what's creating the, the energized feeling of having a shower. So, oh, yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I mean, I'm interested in energy and I know about the power of the water, but I think the way you talk about the shower is very beautiful. So when is the best time then to have a shower? Does it matter? Or is it morning? Is it evening? Or is it different intention like you should have in the shower? I don't have an answer to that yet. I don't think okay. it really matters. No, that's, that's, uh, I think any time is good. Yeah. 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 And it doesn't have to be a shower. I don't like to have showers, but I love to swim. So I try to live near the water and, and that's natural water. It's not coming from pipelines and near the ocean yeah. or I'm now living near a lake. Eh? I walk outside and it's like 15 meters and I'm in the water um mm. so and i don't shower after i've been in the water most people and and this this is all thoughts you know people think that when you come out of the water you're dirty you smell but if you even smell something it's it's the it's the it's the the, the crystals in the water it's the it's the nutrition in the water yes it's mud but you know, people go to 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 beauticians but. to have mud <laughs> with mud and clay. So why yeah. is it dirty when you swim in it? Huh? And, yeah, and yeah. Um, so it's really healthy to swim in the water. So when I, mean, I, I that's my shower, and and then okay, I wash my hair and I go on in the shower, of course, because uh, yeah, yeah, I, with I don't yeah. want to pollute the water with my uh, my shampoo. my shampoo, uh, but. I, I don't take a shower if I have been swimming because it's good water for my skin. It's better yeah. water than the tap water for my skin because it's nature. Yeah. Hey, as, as you're sharing, I'm guessing these goosebumps, right? Or as oh, I saw you yeah. looking. I saw. I thought, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. you know, I, I love water. I can live with water. Eh? Yeah. yeah. I, I was like, yeah. I love water. Uh, every time at home, even if I. Uh, don't I'm not by the water I would mm. go and have a bath right I would relax in a bath I would go and meditate I would have a shower but bath and yeah. sometimes two or three times a day doesn't really wow. matter but I just go mm. to the bath when, yeah. and especially when I'm tired to refresh my energy and reset my energy or yeah. not, and then I love it when I go to and I'm in Spain now and I go swimming I don't like taking shower after I leave the sea you know, no, you I just feel it's like an energy, yeah. right? Just the soul the water, the water is really good small. for you. So yeah. precious, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, I love yeah. it. Okay, I'm so <laughs> curious to learn more about this. But you know, and, uh, people people are afraid to talk about that. You know, and and there are people who think I'm a dirty person because I, but that <laughs> they, those are all thoughts. You know, there's so many yeah. thoughts that restrict us and that keep us living in fear, and it's not freedom why yeah. is it dirty because someone has has created that thought and now we all start to believe that i mean i never believe what other people believe i create i like to create my own reality and yeah this is 
this is one of them. Like you're yeah. you're super clean and energized when you come out of the water. Yeah, it's very powerful, right? It's like yeah. for me when I go for a swim, it's like I got like a shot of espresso or coffee, you know, and I'm so reset yeah. and energized. Yeah, you're yeah. really sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so so what are you doing now with the business and the water? Do you take people swimming? Do you take them in the water? Or yeah, is it still... I I, um, I, I take them in um, when I'm stationed somewhere because I travel a lot. I have a whirlpool, and uh, mm -hmm. I heat it up, and I take people with me in the in the pool before they enter. I energize the water. I clear it from all the negative energies, uh, because anywhere where people with light are, there is negative energy. You know, we're all a beam of light, and and it's like like flies on the light. And so I I need to clear the the negative energies away, and then I'll go with the people in the water. We we sit quietly, and I just let the energy flow from my hands. And it's already starting when I do this. It's so interesting. I feel the energy already. It's like. <laughs> um and 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 we just sit for half an hour we don't do anything people start to fall asleep or you know they become very very relaxed uh yeah. and after that um when they vibrate differently because what always happens in nature nature always tries for coherence and coherence is that the molecules vibrate all in the same level yeah um and and that is Oh, I'm distracted. Something is happening outside. <laughs> it's because we have high water here now. All the equipment at the water sports center needs to be going on higher, higher ground. And that's what someone is doing now. I'm at the yeah. higher ground. Um, but um, uh, what the, the thing or the, the substance that has that coherence, and that is what I do with energizing the water, that will always affect the parts in nature that are not coherent. So it's always a magnet, it's coherent water, anything that comes around coherent water, the, the water molecules of plants, of people, of substance, it starts to vibrate differently. So wow. yeah, and, and then when people have a different vibration, they can come up with different ideas. They can come up with different decisions. Uh, about their business, about their life, um, about how uh, who they want to be, uh, which was not accessible before. Yeah. How many times do they come to the water with you? Does it matter? Well, you, you, if I do a retreat, it's it's every uh -huh. morning, uh, at least Ooh. once a day, but but usually more. And and we always have a villa with a heated swimming pool during my retreats. Uh, but I also love to take people to other places in nature with water. So I always take them to the ocean. I also take them to a waterfall uh, because the the power of a waterfall really does something to uh, to the body um, and to the brain. Uh, if if you you feel that water, when you, you stand think. in the waterfall, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you standing yeah, yeah, yeah. in the waterfall? Yeah. Yeah. We are. Yeah, and it's it's like this force of nature on your head, and it just flushes away all your all your thoughts. You can't think when that's happening. It's so liberating. Oh, I got another level of wood <laughs> bumps. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, this is like very so, fascinating. We have yeah. to continue this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, wow. you know, and I've been conquering waterfalls in my white water kayak. I've been conquering white water rivers such as Colorado River and Grand Canyon. And I don't know how many expeditions. And I know about the, the force of water and, 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 and the angle and, and, and the danger. Uh, I've, I've yeah. always been carried by water. I was just never aware. I have been in situations that I nearly drowned. But I've, water had always saved me as well. So, I, yeah, it's it it's was a, always it's there. a powerful relationship with your water. Yes. Yep. And yep. I know you were doing, you know, uh, <laughs> waterfall kayaking, long distance yep. swimming, wide water kayaking. Yep. So water, teaching it looks swimming. Like teaching <laughs> swimming. It looks like water has been around in your life all, always. Yeah. always. So now yep. you're partnering with the water. And yeah, following it's, you. It's, well, it's 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 it, at the moment. It yeah, the, I love that you say that. It feels more like a teacher to me. Um, uh -huh. So that that's probably says something about how what I feel about myself. That I yeah. that, 
I'm not equal to the water yet, but yeah. I'm working on that. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful teacher. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Tineke. This is such a fascinating conversation and you know, I could go for much more and yeah. I just really want to yeah. honor our live stream. So this is, I think, definitely to be continued. Let's continue having this conversation at the time as well you. and then share it with everyone else. Um, thank you, everyone who's been listening to our conversation with Tineke. I hope you are as inspired by who she is as I am. And yeah. if you are, please go to the website for the GFU Awards voting. You can see that the banner at the bottom is www.gfu.com slash awards2024. She's a nominee in our category of health and well-being. So please go there. Give yes. her some love. Give Love her your vote. vote. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Shine light on her. What she's doing is really important. So bring it forward into the world. And whilst you are there, please also go and check out our, our nominees. We have six other categories. They're like amazing, beautiful, wise women. They're very inspiring. I'm sure you will find someone that will inspire you to give you a vote there as well. So thank you so much Tineke for being here with me. Thank you for being part of our awards and I look forward to our yeah. continuous conversations and bringing a light into the world. Thank you so much Bea. Thank you for your time and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.